Hi guys, it's Anna here. It's been a while since I have done a longer video, uh, but I got a new phone for that <laughs> exclusively because with the cameras and the I don't know the cameras and the tripods and the, the SIM cards and the lights and I just wanted to make it easier and maybe if I if I had a new phone just for this I could just try to sketch and film it it's easier than to make the whole set so <laughs> I invested a little bit and I tried it this weekend um, and it, it's been a while if, if this makes things easier I'll probably uh, have more videos of me sketching and doing art because uh, I need I need to make art and I will always make it but then I will have just a, a photo to post and that way you don't see the process and I think if you're trying to learn how to do things or if you see someone else doing it you probably um, get more information out of it and try to and experiment yourself so in here I'm trying to make one of my <laughs> pen sketches, my portrait pen sketches. Uh, I'm using a sketchbook and just a ballpoint pen. In this case it's like a light red. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the cap color but um, you get this, this very light red. It's a very cool color and I am trying to make this um, portrait uh, of a girl. Usually are girls, girls uh, and she's like in this kind of sided position and I am just trying to I want to be better at, at, at these portraits because uh, I, I think I need to measure more and I don't because <laughs> I just want to kind of wing it I don't wing it 100% because I do the, the, first, the skull uh, structure kind of and I kind of know the measurements like where the eyes should be and where the ears should be in, in relation of the eyes and of the mouth but uh, I think I should measure more because sometimes they, they really look bad especially the eyes I usually have one eye like completely off and that's so annoying and uh, also the lips in this position is is very is kind of hard it's hard i kind of think the nose if you have a photo reference well i have to have a photo reference for these things otherwise uh these portraits uh, <laughs> kind of go off a little bit and uh, no in the in the end it doesn't quite resemble the the photo but that's that's not what I'm aiming. I'm not trying to make it like hyper realistic or photorealistic. Uh, just, just trying to make a portrait that I like, something that it's, and trying to understand like the position of the features and um, how, how things should be distributed. Um, so I don't forget like the chin, the, the, the forehead and the distance between the eyes that's something that I, I would I would absolutely kind of uh, ignore or forget and then the, the things come strange um, in the end so that's why I start with that big circle in the beginning uh, that's for the um, the upper part of the of the head like uh, the round shape that would go from the top of your head to more or less the, the nose and then you add like a little tri it's not a triangle but a, a little part below that that is going to be the, um, the chin and the, and the mouth the ears are always look always not always <laughs> everybody is the same but they're usually uh, located between the eyebrows and the nose the top of the eyebrows and the end of the nose so uh, but then it depends on the angle you know because in this case like the 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 head is around it, a round shape so 
um, you have that kind of distortion but if you do some lines you can really try to understand where where it goes and it's it's a, oh well, let's say uh, you need you need to be to, to really focus on shapes uh, and and the shading I mean the tone the value you need you need to understand if what the shape is and you need to understand how dark it is and don't try to oh I'm gonna draw a face or I'm gonna draw lips or I'm gonna draw teeth I'm gonna draw a nose because one thing is what your brain thinks he knows and the other thing is what you are looking at and you should <laughs> and mainly when things are how do you call it foreshortened um, it's it it really looks like it's not gonna be okay until you draw it and just draw it as you actually see it and then add values okay if you need to you could measure it up with with a with a ruler whatever do that when I try to make like a portrait like a really recognizable portrait and not just a, an exercise like this I do the grid method there's a there's a, a video on this page I think it's the, <laughs> the last one actually um, where I'm drawing my dog and uh, I have that grid that grid um, that helps you measure because the photo in on the computer was really small and then I made it I made a big painting so um, all you have to do is like make a grid on the computer make a grid on the paper and then just look at squares and see what shape goes in which square and then um, when it all when it's all sketched then you start adding layers and layers and that's how you do it like just shapes you don't don't say like you don't look at it like oh i'm gonna draw my dog because that's not gonna <laughs> work and once again photo references are just essential i think they are essential mainly in the beginning and you really need to i mean i didn't pay i didn't, didn't spend a lot of time sketching this girl and because it's just a, a light sketch and i'm not even going for the hair or anything it's just very light it's more of the facial features and i like it like this too it's like an, a kind of incomplete um i like that uh but uh you you, you really have to have a little time and a little patience i mean you don't have to do it all in one sitting um but don't rush it because if you rush it it's, it's just gonna ruin it if you want to have things really quickly and I don't know what's happening with that eye there <laughs> anyway as I told you before some eyes are you know it should, that that shadow part should have been lighter you know it doesn't make sense to be that dark because the shadow is on this part of the face so the, she has a black eye or a red eye I think um, in this in this case that I'm I'm using a pen, the sketch. Um, I really like these pens, the sketch. I mean, this this ballpoint pen, pen uh, ball point pens are awesome because you can really adjust the values according to the pressure and the angle of the pen on the paper. So it really, it really, you can start with very, very, very light, as you can see right here in the hair very light just some lines and some lines you can ignore afterwards and and then on the on her mouth on her on her on her nose and on on her eyelids um eyelashes sorry and her eyelashes it's very dark it's a very uh it's the the value there is very uh intense is very dark so actually that just calls your attention and the hair just becomes a, a background somehow or something it doesn't because your eye is attracted to uh, the contrast the more contrast you have in a in a sea 
I just said that that contrast there and, and suddenly is, is not just the face, your eye just just travels between the face and that zone there near the here. Um, so you you have to be aware of that. The more contrast, the more you, you're going to look at it. Um, it catches your attention. That and also when, when there are portraits, uh, we always try to... Our brains are, are, <laughs> are made so we can identify faces recognize faces or two eyes and a mouth because we recognize faces sometimes in just uh, I don't know <laughs> in, in a cloud or something like that because it's not there but you identify it so um, the position of the features and the contrast is very important for the person to look at it if it's a portrait that you're just sketching you want to try to make it kind of nice but not recognizably necessarily uh, not recognizable necessarily then you just you just can kind of wing it and just make it an exercise uh, if you want to make it really accurate or <laughs> more accurate than these ones uh, I, I, I advise the grid technique yeah so certainly um, it, it always always helps to have that that to read that the uh, Loomis I think it's Loomis theory uh, it's free it's online it's like PDF uh, I mean it's, it's it's a general understanding not everyone fits that those features but uh, it's kind of cool I after I I read it and I understood it, the, kind, the measurements and whatnot, like the eyes should be a part. Um, there's, it's like there are three, three eyes, like left eye, the space between the eyes should be the length of an eye and then the other eye. So I know that, <laughs> I know the theory, but for some reason I really mess up the eyes. I don't know why I really mess up the eyes and I, I'm trying to and I, I think it's because I don't pay attention enough when I'm I'm drawing one eye and that usually the first eye just comes wow it's it's always cool when you know that you have to draw the the high lift and the, the pupil and the iris and that the, the 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 eye is not really white there's always shades and where it shines and why it shines when you understand that those things um, you can can draw a pretty good high it's not that hard and it's a really good e effect if you start like because when I started I, I like I, I I I figured out how to do eyes because they were really interesting to me but they, they really felt like very difficult they're not that difficult I might do just a video or two on eyes I don't know if you're interested but um, drawing an eye per se is not that difficult then I went for the lips and they're not that difficult either once you understand the, the anatomy of the, the lips and then I went for the um, I went for the nose and I started to learn how to draw noses but even though I knew all those parts it was still a pain and I couldn't draw a portrait. It was just weird because there's so much more than just these loose features. You know, you understand the neck and the muscles of the neck. You don't have to understand it like all the muscles and all, but um, to know where where the, ch the shoulder starts, I used to make it really low and like a, a hell shape between the neck and the and the, um, the shoulder and it's, it's not an L shape at all it's like a triangle there uh, so it, these little things that you you can understand it by uh, reading s there are a lot of things on Pinterest and all whatnot uh, that can really help you to to know these things and notice these things and and try to to make it better and sometimes you have to, to see it more than once so your brain can capture the information and apply it because one thing is like 
oh, I, I saw it and I understood it, but can you remember it when you're drawing? And sometimes you need more than once to, to make that transition. And I have like the past year, I've been doing <laughs> portraits. And if you go like on Instagram and, and start seeing the first portraits I did, it's just absolutely horrific i, I kind of look at it and it's just oh my god and i was winging it winging it I, I like i knew how to draw eyes and i knew how to draw the nose and the mouth mainly from the, the front view and then i was just kind of do <laughs> even hair hair is so it's so difficult not difficult to draw but to imagine how it goes around the head I really need photo references for the head, the hair because it really is hard for me <laughs> maybe it's not hard for other people but for me it's really hard to understand how it goes these days since I have done a lot of portraits um, I kind of go there easily more easily but uh, now I really do need to have some references to, to make a good hair and then, of course, you start with the, the base layer. Don't forget the highlights and then some loose hair to make it more realistic. Maybe I, maybe I should do a series like with the, the different features and try to, to explain how I, I am doing them right now, which is probably not the best way. And it's not hyper realistic, it's just a way and I think I've improved so much this year because every time I had a little bit, I would sketch something, I would try to remember what I've learned and try to see what was wrong. And I'll never compromise with the shape unless you know it's in the place. And that's what I did with the eyes. I would compromise with it, meaning I would make them darker before I would take a step back or take a picture of it and see is this eye in the, the right place so for me it was like looking at one eye and then looking at the other eye and they kind of look good both of them but then I would take a pictures to post it and it was like oh my god these eyes are not okay they're not in the right place one is kind of above and the other it was it was not good some portraits it's okay that one eye is kind of off uh, it kind of looks like it's it's supposed to be like that. It gives the like personality to the to the person. Like uh, it, it looks like it's it's like that. But on others, I was just like, no, this is atrocious, and I, I would get really mad that I didn't pay attention again. And then I would do it again. And then and now I'm starting to pay a little more attention with this telephone. Is really uh, with this mobile, this new mobile that I bought. It's really cool because I use like a very small tripod to record it and I am above the tripod it's not that the camera is above me so I can't see what's going on right now I can see it and I can see it immediately through, the, through a screen and it really helps me to know that the high or some feature is off and in this case yeah I saw the the, the eye is, is darker and it shouldn't but yeah it's kind of in the right place because I saw it I saw it before <laughs> and I was really happy with that although the eye is like you know she has a black eye or whatever um, but I was happy and it's it's like it's it, it takes a long time to for you to get the muscle and get the comfort uh, to, to draw something because I, I I was really into drawing birds and still life maybe and animals and then but mainly birds and some flowers uh, but I really wanted to draw portraits but I I, I, al I always thought they were so so difficult I wouldn't even dare and I started learning the features as I said before um, and I realized the features alone it's not enough <laughs> but then I started to look, it, to look at it as a whole and started to understand things and, I, and then exercising, exercising as, as I'm, I'm telling you it's been like a year since I, I've been doing this and it's better, it's not excellent, of, of course it isn't uh, but I am 
I am happy with this this drawing. It doesn't like make me sick or run away or anything. Um, so I, I, you can see a difference, but you have to put a little effort into it. Uh, you really have to pay attention and learn some measurements and then remember to apply it because uh, I think that's kind of the you kind of you kind of be you might be able to learn it but then you have to remember to apply it it's like remember what he said or he or she said when when we were drawing this this should come to this and this here should start here maybe and end around here and then it's error and <laughs> trial trial and error um, some will look better some would look worse but it's very important that you learn it apply it keep doing it so you don't forget it it's very important that and then we start with sketches and then I, I want to go to to wash or maybe watercolor and try to bring this um, to life so uh, I hope you learned something <laughs> out of what I said uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I can make more of these soon till till next time bye bye stay safe